Hey there. So I am making um, my blue bonnet panels, which uh, I like to do in the spring, and I'm making quite a few of them. And I ended up with a bunch of rolled edges. I mean, a whole bunch of uh, pieces here. Uh, they're all seven inches long. And so I've decided to just go to town cutting up strips, and I'm gonna use these in some sort of strip construction pieces in the future. But rather than just push this scrap around, I thought I'm just gonna keep on moving here in the garage and process this and kind of keep it going. Um, this glass is cold, unfortunately. Um, so I'm gonna get probably a little bit of breakage as I work through this, but um, thought I would just film this and then uh, make a piece and show you what I'm doing. Well, I just finished cutting all of these strips for, I don't know, half an hour, 45 minutes, and I thought I was filming a video of that in time lapse and thought that would look wicked cool, and then guess what? There was nothing on my camera. <laughs> so, dang it. Anyway, look, I did all those strips. Most of them are quarter inch strips. I only had a couple of breaks, uh, so I'm pretty pleased. Okay, so here is the piece going in. Um, sorry for the shots of the top of my gray hair uh, as I built this. I added some clear frit because some of these strips are relatively thin and I didn't have quite, so you can see I did some uh, along the edge. There are three strips along each edge and then this whole body of strips down the middle. I did that honestly just to save my sanity so that I didn't have to cut strips going long ways because most of these are seven inches. So anyway, there were a couple of gaps along the sides and some of these strips are also a little thin. And what I didn't want is for a six millimeter rule to apply and have these start to pull in and then create a gap or big air bubbles. So uh, I sprinkled some frit on, this, on the sides there where I had a few gaps just to kind of fill in. Then I decided to just put clear frit. This is medium clear frit all the way across the top just to create a little bit of a pattern in case that clear frit is visible, then at least it looked intentional. So I have, uh, clearly I have some scrap melts going in as well. I'll post the firing schedule, but I'll end up taking this pretty high and holding for a good amount of time to accommodate the rest of those scraps. And then we'll see what this looks like when it comes out. All right, this is, uh, uh, I'm very pleased with this. I had just a few spikes around the edge, so I cleaned those up. I got a nice um, edge on each side uh, to get it nice and flat. I am flipping it and refiring it because I like the bottom of this. And so I'll show you what it looks like when it comes out, but so far I'm very pleased. Okay, uh, this piece looks great. I am going to move on to slumping it now. I slumped this in a rectangle mold that I have that I'm really uh, always pleased with. I just love the colors here. Check out the light through here and how you can see that beautiful transparent uh, stacked on end in this piece. Firing schedules are in the video notes. I hope that you enjoyed this. I loved making it. I actually have enough scrap. I'm going to make another one. Please subscribe to the channel. Drop me a comment. Let me know what you think. Thanks.